Hi, this is Tom Shanahan of SpiritualAdrenaline.com. I'm at the Gay Sober Men's Conference in New York City with one of its founders and co-chairs, Christian Parker. Christian, thank you so much for joining me Thanks today. Me. You can hear Patricia Marino in the background, the hallelujahs with the intensity class. Yes. It's an amazing conference that you've put together. What prompted you to create this, this great event? Well, I got sober young. And when I got sober at 23, I thought I would never have fun again. And so, you know, I go to, you know, I do 12 step, um, I do sober events, and I go to different roundups and conferences around the country. And I always said to myself, why doesn't New York have something like this? You know, where people from all over the world, all over the country can gather from multiple 12 step fellowships, even from those who don't go to 12 step meetings, you know, just people who live a sober lifestyle that want to have fun participate in enriching programming and big meetings at night. All right, this is definitely fun, let me tell you. I can hear it, yeah. It's amazing. People that are LGBTQ, members of the community, how can they benefit specifically from this conference? So this conference has specific programming on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday dedicated to gay men in recovery or people that identify as men. And there's programs like It's Not Dating, It's Sex, or Ageism and Body Dysmorphia, which is really you know, specific to our community, mm -hmm. and other programming like that. And as far as the other components of our LGBTQ community, on Pride Sunday, we open up for everyone to come and participate. The Pride Parade March, um, this got Sandra year, Bernhardt performing Sandra Bernhardt this year. Performing. Got the cruise. The cruise with DJ Eddie X from the House of Extravaganza from the show Pose. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's <laughs> incredible. That's incredible. You know, we really, something that I believe in is, because it speaks to my personal story, you know, I thought the party was over. So what we do, especially on a weekend like Pride in New York City, which is, can be kind of triggering if you're in recovery. You know, and if you're in recovery, you don't have that many options. You can either lock yourself in your apartment until the weekend's right, over. Right, right. If you have the finances, run to Fire Island, or just do your regular meetings. So we bring, we bring something really special. We put it together and we invest in production value. We fly in DJs that are well known because we don't want anyone at our events thinking to myself, they're having more fun or I'm missing out. So we bring the party to that. Great message, great message. You know, we've had fun together of years course, ago. Yeah. And when we were both using, mm -hmm. that was 20 years it's ago. true. And now we're having fun together sober. Yeah. So it's an amazing journey we've both been on. If someone's interested in finding out more about next year's conference or getting actively involved, mm -hmm. what can they do? Who should, where should they go? They can visit gayandsober.org slash planning. And there is a tab where they can sign up to be of service. That's great. Thank you so much, Christian. My pleasure. Thank you.